Colonel. Colonel, SOS message comms just come in. If you can hear this, it might not be too late. Unmarked ships are attacking, and many people are dying. We know planet FT-957 is far from any other colony, but if you have any humanity, please send help immediately. Otherwise, our world is doomed. I don't know if this damn thing is working. I have the Admiral. Something terrible has apparently happened in the Telemon system, but we don't know what. Now, you're the closest ship I have to a jump point that'll take you out there. Telemon is such a frontier system that their planets have retained their original discovery numbers. But it's still part of the Border Worlds Union. All systems are equal in our eyes. Now, if there's a fire to put out there, let's do it. Plot us for Telemon. Admiral, any news of Captain Eisen? None, I'm afraid. But I'll keep you posted if I hear anything. Well, for now. Maniac, listen up. All right, we're going into a black hole here, people. Not the jamming kind like back on Peleus, but an informational one. Now, FT-957 is sent out a distress signal, and we don't know why. We're going to sweep the area of hostiles and try and suss out the situation if we can. So you're going to want to put me and my boys down on the surface then? Yes. I want you there, because I'll be landing too. What? You people didn't see that woman's face down there. Something awful's happened, and I want to find out firsthand. Now, I want two wingmen to escort Decker's shuttle and return here once we enter a landing pattern. All right? That's it, then. And let's be careful out there. You got it. Roger that. Guns. The black ships are back. Follow me. Here we go. Hold it! Easy! We represent the Union of Border Worlds and Vice Admiral Wilford. We're here to respond to your SOS. That warbird ain't here for no SOS. The ones that did this to us, they were flying those. That is a commandeered craft, you idiots. Check out this insignia. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. You're too late. Only a few of us left. It didn't take long after the bombs dropped. Bombs? Well, this place is still standing. The airstrip's in one piece. It doesn't look like you've been touched. <coughs> the attackers didn't blow up anything, Colonel. They used bioweapons. So no offense, Doc. How come you're still breathing? I've been asking myself the same question. What's the pattern here? This is not random. The autopsies have been showing commonalities. Things like percentage of body fat, bone brittleness, eyesight, sperm and egg count, everything genetically determined. What do you know about nanotechnology and bioconvergence? Bioconvergence? Well, it's fairly new. That, that covers what I know. Well, I think the attackers dispersed replicating nanobots into the atmosphere, billions of them. Nanobots? Yeah. Think of them as computers, small as atoms. They get into your body, and start a genome comparison of your DNA helix. If they don't like what they find, they start attacking your RNA. Your cells, your cells stop replicating and they begin killing each other. Let me show you. Your body becomes a, a battleground. And in a matter of hours, oh. so how come we're not like this? Thank your parents. The nanobots have been programmed to look for certain genetic characteristics, low body fat, good eyesight, and so on. 
My guess is they can be e-proned to do anything. Any trigger in the DNA strand will do. You want to uh, want to weed out the skinny folks in the world? People with iron poor blood? They just tweak the code. They came out of nowhere in unmarked ships. They, they dropped canisters like this. How many of your people were affected? I'd say 90%. This is the ghost planet now, boss. I've seen this a couple times during the war. If the rest of these people don't clear out soon, they'll all be committing suicide in a year or so. Admiral Wilford will get a full report. I'm sure he'll act appropriately. Hard to figure out what appropriate even means if you see something like this. It's a good thing that Kilrathi never figured out this stuff. Colonel. Thank you. I wish I could light a candle for everyone on that planet. And fill up a space a lot bigger than this, that's for sure. Fill up a whole planet. You know, in all the years of the Kilrathi War, I don't think I've ever heard of anything so hideous. A pinpoint killing of the innocent. The wrong DNA strand becomes a death sentence. If I'd got down to that planet with you, would I be dead too? Would anybody be lighting a candle for me?